Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you as a subscriber so be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Today I'm going to be trying out the brand new Tower 28 Sunny Days SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. That is a mouthful. I have the shade 15 Melrose, which is described as light with neutral undertone. This little beauty retails for $30 on the Sephora website and you do get one fluid ounce of product. There are 12 different shades to choose from. Now, let me just read you some of the call outs about this new product. It says it's going to provide a natural finish with light, medium, buildable coverage. It is reef safe SPF. It's good for acne and blemish and for sensitive skin and it is also vegan. Also important to note this is fragrance free and it is formulated with mineral sunscreen. So we're going to be putting this to the test today. This will be a two-day 10-hour wear test and I'll be showing you how it wears on my 39 year old normal to oily skin. For those of you who it's your first time here you haven't seen any of my foundation reviews I love doing foundation reviews, but I want to just give you a quick background on my skin type and what I look for. Again, I'm 39 years old, normal to oily, oily primarily in my T-zone. I like foundations that are going to provide a good medium coverage, medium buildable coverage. Um, I like a natural finish, so this sounds like it's going to be perfect for me, um, but I don't mind a matte. I don't mind a dewy. Um, I just like to have a nice, healthy glow going on. So um, my T-zone is the oiliest place on my face, especially my nose, so I always tend to powder down my T-zone, and then the sides, the perimeter of my face, you know, sometimes I powder them, sometimes I don't. Um, so I'm going to be doing this wear test different each day. So on day one, I am not going to be wearing like any primer, powder, uh, I'm not going to spot conceal, just do concealer under my eye, uh, no setting spray, none of those helping products for day one. That way we can see its performance. And then for day two, which is actually today, I just applied my makeup, I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, for day two, I am wearing it with all of the helping products such as primer, concealer, spot concealing, setting powder, setting spray, the works, you name it. And I of course do check-ins throughout the day. I do wear a mask at work and that way we can get a good feel as to how the foundation is going to perform. So I'm really excited. I will insert swatches later in the video comparing this to other products that I have in my stash, other similar products. That way it can help you make a good buying decision shade wise since you can only pick this up online and then of course at the end of the video I will wrap things up and give you my final thoughts on what I think of this new one from Tower 28. I love Tower 28. They're a small brand. They're slowly starting to release more and more products. I love their bronzer. I love their blushes. I just picked this one up as well. These are their um, lip jelly. It's called Ice Latte Lip Jelly Duo and I'm gonna actually apply. I'm wearing the Jaclyn Cosmetics uh, Matte Liquid Lip Lip in the shade Gratitude, but I think I'm going to apply this one over it. This one is in the shade Chestnut. These feel so creamy, so hydrating. It's just so glossy. Perfect complement to that Jaclyn Cosmetics. And then this other one is a clear gloss. So I'm excited, excited to add more Tower 28 to my stash. And I'm excited to do this video for you guys. Let's get started, guys. If y'all want to see this new Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen Foundation in action, keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna be applying this two different ways. Uh, on one side of the face, I'm gonna be going in with a new makeup brush that I bought. This is from Anissa Beauty. I'll talk about it while I'm applying. So I'm gonna do that on this side of the face, and then for the left side of my face, I have a damp e.l.f. makeup sponge. So let me give this a good shake. Once again, I am wearing the shade 15 Melrose. It does have a little squeezy tube, so let's see. I haven't even swatched this. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be a really good shade match. So now I'm going to go in with my Anissa foundation brush. This is what it looks like. If you guys are on Instagram, um, 
and you're not following this account called Rose and Ben, Rose, uh, she just does an amazing job with making reels. You know, she does those quick little videos. She even does IGTV. Um, and she explains things so well. She makes everything look so easy. She recreates looks from, I, I remember she was doing when we they had the Met Gala. She was recreating some of those looks from um, the different celebrities. But she's always using this foundation brush. And her foundation always looks so flawless and so beautiful. She just completely sold me on it. So it's a foundation brush and it's also a concealer brush. And it also came with like um, a small uh, brush cleaner, like a spray quick brush cleaner. And I've been enjoying the brush. I've been enjoying the brush so, so much. And you can see I'm just kind of stippling the product on first. And I'm actually liking the coverage. This does say that it's going to um, provide light to medium buildable coverage. And it's going to be a natural finish. So those are things that I like. I like a natural finish. I like a medium coverage. And, um, you know, I don't mind that it has the SPF at all. I think the shade, I think the shade looks really good. And I will link this brush in the description box in case you want to check it out. Uh, I believe I used her code, which was like Rose or Rose15 or something to get 15% um, off. And I'll link her account too. If you have Instagram, she's also on TikTok. If you have one or the other, go check out Rose and Ben. That is the account name. And she is actually launching a makeup brand or a beauty brand um, that was just announced um a couple weeks ago so i'm really excited i've just i've been following her account for a long time and um it's always good to see when your favorite creators um start putting their creativity to to good use right and starting their own their own company their own brand okay so first impressions i like the way it's applied i like the way it looks it's definitely a natural coverage um i think it blended into my skin flawlessly all right, and I do have some left on the back of my hand, so I'm going to go in now with my Damp Elf Beauty Sponge. And I'm going to be applying it over here. Now, I definitely think um, this might be something you want to apply with a brush first, and then maybe use a damp makeup sponge to go over everything. Just because it is a really thin formula and um, I don't want the sponge to soak up the majority of your product. Although this actually seems like it's doing okay. I just squeeze out a little bit more. I'm really liking the shade. I think the shade is pretty spot on. Like I have a line right here of the pillow. I'm just waking up and getting ready to, uh, to go to work. But I have two, two videos that I need to film before I head into work. So... I'm doing this application portion of this Tower 28 Sunny Days foundation. And then I'm going to be filming with this one right here, the BH Cosmetics Opal Palette for October. You all will see the Opal Palette video first. And then you all will see probably this video go up the following day. So I feel like the coverage is pretty much the same from sponge versus brush. Now I'm just gonna go over my entire face with the sponge just to make sure everything is pressed in and seamless. Okay, so here is what Sunny Days in the shade Melrose looks like. I'm liking it, I think it looks pretty good. Again, this is the day that I'm only gonna wear, you know, concealer under my eye area. I'm not gonna do any powder. I did not apply primer, no setting spray. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear right here to my under eye area. And I'm gonna set my under eye area as well. I have the um, One Size Beauty powder here in front of me.
All right, guys, so this is how Sunny Days is looking. Um, I like it. First impression, so far, so good. I will be giving this a two-day, 10-hour wear test. Day one, of course, is without all of those helping products. We'll see how it's going to wear on my 39-year-old normal to oily skin. Um, I did say I'm getting ready to go to work, and I do wear a mask at work, so we'll also see um, how it does, how it performs under the mask. So I will check in with you guys a little bit later during my lunch break. I will check in with you and we'll see how this new one from Tower 28 is working. Hey guys, this is the five hour check-in with the new Tower 28 Beauty Sunny Days Tinted SPF Foundation. This is what my skin is looking like after five hours of wear and of course wearing a mask. I think I got a little bit of rub off on my nose, but nothing too bad, nothing that I just couldn't pat out with my finger. Um, everywhere is looking good. Coverage is great, but um, I definitely feel like my nose is a bit shiny so that's definitely something that for me that's the first place on my face that gets the oiliest and yeah i can see that already now i do want to mention a couple other tower 28 uh, products that i applied i went in with the bronzer and with the cream blush the cream blush is in the shade happy hour and the bronzer is in the shade west coast i am also wearing their lip gloss they just released a lip gloss or I think it's called a what is this called just add milky it's like a lip duo I was wearing the brown one earlier but now I just had lunch so I just put the clear on um, and I like it I had never tried their lip glosses before it's called ice ice baby la edition so I'll have this linked it's new to Sephora in case you want to check that out as well so so far things are looking good with the tower 28 sunny days I will be back in another five hours to give you guys the final check-in of day one and we'll see how my skin is looking. Hey guys, this is the 11 hour check-in with the new one from Tower 28 and I'm in the car obviously so you can kind of see a little bit of how this looks in sunlight but I will say I'm not the biggest fan of it right now. It's definitely rubbed off you know with the mask and I'm definitely oily in need of a blot. I have higher expectations for this tomorrow when I pair it with like the powder, concealer and all that stuff. But um, right, na right now, uh, today, it's not looking the greatest. I even feel like I lost a little bit of coverage right here on the sides of my face. And yeah, just not the biggest fan. Um, it's super lightweight though, and I do like the finish, and I do like the coverage. So I'm just hoping that since I'm a normal to oily skin type, uh, once I set the face with some powder, I'm hoping for a longer wear tomorrow. So we'll see, and I will check in with you guys first thing in the morning. Good morning guys, this is day two of me trying out this new one from Tower 28 and today I am wearing it with all the typical products that I would normally wear on an everyday basis with foundation. So I'm using the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I'm using the Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Loose Finishing Powder. I am trying a new concealer today, a new concealer from NYX, which you guys will be seeing that video probably after this one. So um, I do have under eye concealer, a little bit on my forehead, nose, chin, and then I did spot conceal since I am trying it out today. Um, and then for setting spray, I am using the the NYX, what is it? The NYX, um, it's the, the NYX matte one. Oh, the name of it escapes me, but it's in a black bottle. Um, it's one actually one of my favorites. How can I not remember the name of it? Uh, anyway, guys, this is how my skin is looking. Uh, this is about an hour ago or about an hour in. So I'll be back during my lunch break to give you guys the midday check-in. And of course, at the end of this day to, to wrap up the wear test on this new Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. Hey guys, this is a five hour check-in with the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen and this is how I'm looking. Definitely look better today than I did at this time yesterday and it has to do, I'm pretty sure, with the setting powder, 
the primer and all that stuff. I'm not as shiny as I was yesterday. So everything is looking good. It feels good, really comfortable on my skin and it has another five hours to go. So I'll be back when I get home from work and I will give you guys my final thoughts on this new Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is the 10 hour check-in, two day 10 hour check-in with this new one from Tower 28. This is how my skin is looking. I have been doing a lot since I got home from work. Um, indoors, outdoors, it is so hot today and we're actually fixing to get a cool front. So that's why it's so hot. It's so hot and humid. Um, but I think it held up much better today with the primer, the setting spray, the powder, most definitely the powder because yes, my nose is a little bit shiny, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. I definitely think like on the perimeter of my face, the makeup has held up a lot better as well as my forehead around my mouth area. And remember, I do wear a mask at work. Um, it's kind of breaking up, but foundation typically does that on me. So I'm not going to hold it against this one from Tower 28. Overall, it feels really nice. Like I never felt like I wanted to take off my makeup. I never felt like it was a greasy, cakey mess. I think if you're looking for something that's lightweight, that's going to provide a good coverage, it's going to give you a nice, healthy glow and at least get you through a good work day's wear, then this is something you might want to check out. If you are of a normal to oily skin type i would most definitely set this uh wherever you get the oiliest definitely set it with powder that will absolutely prolong the longevity of the product and i think if you have dry skin i think you're going to be fine with this one i don't see any major issues uh if you have dry skin with this clinging to anything because it didn't accentuate any texture it is just so lightweight a beautiful finish a beautiful coverage for 30 dollars SPF Mineral Sunscreen, SPF 30, um, not bad. A nice little product from Tower 28. I'm happy to see this from them because this is a California-based indie makeup brand and um, they're all about the beach and the healthy glow and this just fits right in with the rest of their products. So way to go, Tower 28. You're getting a thumbs up from me. Congratulations, I loved the Sunny Days Tinted Sunscreen Foundation. I also, in the swatch portion of the video, I compared it to two others in my stash, and they are these right here. Um, this is the latest one. I got this over the summer. I actually took this with me on vacation. This is from Say Beauty, and this is the Slip Tint. I wear the shade 3 in this one. This is also a very nice product, very comparable to the Tower 28. So if you have this one already, I don't think you need to go out and buy the Tower 28. However, if you've had your eye on this one, I think this one is a few bucks more than the Tower 28 is. The Tower 28 is 30. This one could be 36 maybe. It's definitely not over 40, I don't think. But this is a nice one also. I feel they wear about the same and I feel like the finish is about the same as well. I think you get a little bit more coverage with the Tower 28 though versus this one. And this one does have SPF 35. One of my other favorites as far as like tinted moisturizers and, you know, um, SPF skin tints and foundations go is this one from Smashbox. And it is the Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted tinted moisturizer with SPF 25. This is a good one. Amazing coverage. This one will give you the most coverage out of the three. Um, and yeah, I've really been enjoying this one. Almost out of it. I think I have about a fourth of a tube left and this will definitely be a repurchase for me. I have just really been enjoying that one from Smashbox. But let me know your thoughts, guys. What did you guys think of this new one from Tower 28? Have you guys tried anything from Tower 28? What is your favorite product? I love their bronzer. I love the blush. Oh, and the lip gloss. Um, that lip gloss duo, that was nice too, guys. That was really nice. Um, I got, it was that little duo. I think it was for $22 and it's new at Sephora. So I'll definitely have it linked in the description box of this video in case you want to check it out. It's a clear and then it's like a, um, a caramel colored gloss. Really nice, comfortable, like super glossy. If you love like a, a thick, yummy gloss, then that's going to be something you want to check out. 
I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink that water. Wear your sunscreen. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.